Megalodon versus Mosasaurus. Who's the king of the seas? Millinery, lethal, and epic. These apex predators didn't live in the same era, but here I'm going to show you what would happen if they fought to the death. Do you want to know who would win? Stay tuned. Megalodon. Having a great size, weight, and strength, the first competitor that I'm going to show you is the unbeatable Megalodon, which is able to eat you in a bite. It has an incredible length of 62 feet. Males weigh up to 33.9 tons and females up to 59.4 tons. So it's big. Regarding speed, it swims at 11 miles per hour. Due to its insatiable hunger, this shark preyed on all the time so that it could maintain such a powerful and heavy body. That's why it sports huge 6.6 foot wide jaws with more than 250 teeth. Imagine those five rows of sharp, saw-like teeth specifically designed to tear off flesh and bones as if they were butter. A fake. To get you even scarier, Megalodon has an unbelievable bite force that ranges from 24,395 to 40,960 PSI. And to give you an idea of how strong that is, its present-day cousin, the Great White Shark, only has a bite force of 4,095 PSI. Ouch! I can imagine now. Mosasaurus. Giant and terrifying, this is the powerful Mosasaurus. Measuring about 58 feet long and weighing about 28 tons. It'll make you shake like a leaf just by seeing it. What? Teeth vary depending on each species, but they all have sawtoothed edges with a special design that makes it easy for the reptile to cut and tear apart their victim. Because of its large jaw, it could eat anything in its sea habitat. From sharks, birds, bony fish and other sea reptiles, turtles, to even its own counterparts. So it was the apex predator of its time. You deserve more than this. It could even prey on animals that were larger than its skull that measured only 26 inches long, and according to fossil evidence, there were even remains of a 3.3 foot long fish. The most dangerous of the entire family of this reptile was the Mosasaurus hoffmani because of its fearsome and strong bite. The Mosasaurus hoffmani lived near the coast and is the one with the most war wounds in its fossil remains, proving to be quite a survivor. The battlefield. They both lived millions of years apart in different eras, and this battle didn't occur in nature. How come, you may wonder? Basically because Megalodon lived between 19.8 million and 2.6 million years ago in the Cenozoic, whereas the Mosasaurus lived between 70 million and 66 million years ago in the Mesozoic era. Very old. But don't let the time get in the way and witness a fictional but magnificent fight between sea titans where you're going to see the power of these two in action. The scene? The combat will take place in none other than the coasts of what is now the Netherlands. Why there? Well, Megalodon visited all regions and specifically in this European area, there are a lot of fossils of Mosasaurus. Also, as the reptile needed to breathe from time to time, the shallow sea seems to be the perfect place to get into a fight. So this is the sea where both animals could be prey of each other, and you're going to see this awesome competition from the comfort of your house. I'm ready. Time to fight. This is what you wanted to see. Who's going to win? Try to picture them in the sea. The sea reptile is looking at a giant fish after a poor hunting day, and Megalodon is just swimming in peace. Suddenly, the hungry Mosasaurus attacks the prey. The reptile bites the sides of an off-guard shark and wants to rip off one of its fins. Without warning, Megalodon, that is hurt and furious already, takes revenge. It rapidly gets out of the reptile and bites at its lower, causing great damage. Megalodon is hurt, but manages to keep biting, though Mosasaurus gets out of the shark's jaw and bites off its fin. 
Despite the pain, the adrenaline coursing through Megalodon's veins makes it run away shortly. The winner is kind of obvious, right? But as a true shark, Megalodon prefers to attack an off-guard prey and maps out its strategy. Both animals are really hurt, and the shark attacks the sea reptile from below and gives the enormous Mosasaurus such strong bites that tear it apart. It's the winter time, and from these two sea gladiators, only one is going to win with flying colors and get much flesh to eat. The Ultimate Bite Despite the attempts of the Mosasaurus at wriggling out of certain death, and it sure caused Megalodon pain, the fish keeps going on, and there's nothing else to do. Neither the giant body nor the crocodile snout are ready for the bite of this marine mastodon. The blood starts to flow and blends into the sea environment. The anger of both animals is mixed, but the winner seems to be the one with the stronger bite. A dying sea reptile gives up on trying to escape, and the shark feels the bone cracking of its lunch. The sea gladiator didn't die in vain since it really injured Megalodon. However, it's the great shark that emerges from this fight victorious and on a full belly. Good story, isn't it? Would you prefer another end? Leave a comment. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more epic battles. If you want to see more fictional and magic fights like this one, you should see these videos. Catch you later.